Hi everybody, my name's Monica. I'm on staff here at the church and I am gonna show you how to make one of our favorite dinners at my house, buffalo chicken dip. And the first thing that we always use is a slow cooker liner because I am lazy and I do not wanna wash this. So I always use one of these first thing. Now, what goes into buffalo chicken dip is just a few really simple ingredients. You'll need cream cheese, shredded cheese, Frank's red hot sauce, ranch dressing, and some chicken breasts. All right, so the first thing that I do is I add my chicken to the slow cooker. What I'm using right now is just fresh chicken breasts. I'm using about two or three big chicken breasts is all you need for this. You can use fresh chicken like this, or if you have frozen chicken breasts in your freezer, you can also throw those in there um, and just cook it for another extra hour or so. And if you're in a hurry, you can also use a rotisserie chicken from the deli section of your grocery store and shred that up by hand and throw it in for a little bit faster of a meal. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the ranch dressing. This is about half a cup. And I'm also going to add our Frank's Red Hot. This is the brand that my family loves. And I use between a third, three fourths of a cup and a full cup. It depends on how spicy you want it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add our cream cheese cubes. I think it melts a little bit easier and faster if you cut it into cubes, but this part really isn't necessary. So all of this goes in. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I don't always measure my shredded cheddar cheese because my family likes a lot of it. So if you wanna measure out a cup, that's great. If you just wanna add a whole bunch, that's great too. And the last step is really just to stir all of this around, make sure that chicken gets coated. And then I set my slow cooker to low for about six hours or on high for about five hours. Okay, now once your shredded or chicken dip is ready, the last step is if you used whole chicken breasts like I did, fresh or frozen, you're gonna wanna take those out and shred them with, you can shred them with two forks or what I like to do is put them in a bowl and use a handheld mixer like I'm mixing up cake batter and it shreds the chicken really easy that way. Cause like I said, I'm lazy and I don't wanna have to do more work than I have to. So put, shred that up, put it back in your slow cooker and just stir it till it's all nice and coated. And then my family, we like to serve this several different ways. Now, I know this is a uh, buffalo chicken dip, which sounds like a party food, but you can have this at home for dinner. My husband eats it straight out of a bowl, straight from here with a couple of sliced green onions on top with a fork and nothing else. I don't like to eat it that way. I will either eat it with some celery sticks and tortilla chips like a dip, or we will toast up some regular hamburger buns add some buffalo chicken dip on top like a buffalo chicken sandwich with lettuce, tomato, and onion and serve it for dinner that way. So this is something that my family really loves. You can adjust the spiciness and it just is a really fast, easy way to have dinner together as a family. And I hope that y'all like it as much as we do.